Juliet Speedy has found someone to play 9 and 10, who, don't forget, has the chance to win a trip for two this morning to Buenos Aires, flying Air New Zealand non-stop to that wonderful city, a $2,000 spending money, which in Buenos Aires, interestingly enough, um, if you shop wisely, will buy you an awful lot of fun, excitement, great food and theatre. Uh, all right, Juliet, who have we got? Morning again, Paul. We've got Anna Johns. We've nabbed her. She was having a nice hot breakfast here in the refuge of Vic's Cafe on Victoria Street, but we've pulled her away and she's very excited about the prospect of winning a trip to Buenos Aires. Good morning, Hi. Anna. Hello. Morning, Paul. Can I just say, Anna, you do look a bit nervous. Yeah, I'm not so good under pressure, but, you know, it's a trip, so... It is, it is. And it is, it, it, life is about just not turning up opportunities, isn't it? It's just taking life by the hand and saying, I'll give it a go, I'll yeah. win a trip for two to Buenos Aires. Who will you take? Um, well, I should probably take Hannah because I've stood her up for breakfast to talk to you, so... Yep, fair enough, fair enough. All right, so Hannah's going to go with you. She's a girlfriend, yeah? Yep. All right. Brilliant, Anna. Well, what I want you to do, because you do look a bit nervous to me, you sound a weenie bit nervous. What I want you to do is to just calm down if you can. It is one question. All you have to do is give me nine answers in 10 seconds and you have a trip and $2,000 spending money. So I'll just leave you with that thought for a few minutes, OK? OK, that's, that's to calm my nerves. <laughs> yeah, that's to calm your nerves. Pressure. Fantastic, Anna. All right, we'll be back very, very shortly. Um, does Anna look like a winner, Hillary? I, uh, truly, I think she does. Is I'm it? feeling confident this morning. OK, it's just it's a bit of a tricky question this morning. Life oh. is a lottery and it's just a, it's one of those questions where if you know the answer, it's dead easy. Right, let's get back to Christchurch straight away to play nine in ten. Anna Johns has the chance to win, as you would know, that uh, Air New Zealand trip for two to Buenos Aires in Argentina. Um, beautiful flight, non-stop flight from Auckland, $2,000 spending money. She's going to take a friend with her. Anna, uh, when I last talked to you, you were quite nervous. How nervous are you now on a scale of one to ten? Oh, 10, Paul, definitely. OK, all right. I think you're going to be all right. Can I just ask you, see, the way this works, Anna, is um, w all of this is done at random. So you're sort of chosen at random. The question is chosen at random. And I'm looking at your question, and to me, it's quite hard. I think it's quite a hard question. We've had really easy questions over the last few days, so it's all just a, a game of luck. Um, but it's only hard if you, if you don't know it. For many people, this would be a very easy question. What do you study? Um, I studied engineering. Okay, that's n that's quite good. That's a pointer to the help. possibility. No, it might help actually. <laughs> it might help. Have you spent any time studying chemistry? Uh, not since high school, really. So. Okay. All right. Not so good. Um, but the engineering might help. All right. Here's what I want you to do because I want to see you win this wonderful trip for two to Buenos Aires. I want to see you spending that two thousand dollars, Anna playing 9 and 10 on a Tuesday morning in Christchurch, what I would like you to do is name for me elements of the periodic table. Go. Hydrogen, helium, lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon, oxygen, aluminium, magnesium, um, uranium. How many of us? Damn it. Ah, oh, Anna. How many do you think you How got? How many did I get? How many do you think you got? Probably seven or eight. You got ten. You're going to Buenos Aires. You have <laughs> a trip for two to Buenos Aires flying Air New Zealand. You have $2,000 spending money. Who is it you're taking with you? I'm going to take Han, my friend, over there. Fantastic. Fantastic. She, does, does Han know? Does Han know she's going um, to Buenos yeah, Shout yeah. out to her. Make sure she knows. It. Han, we're going to Buenos Aires. Yeah. How good is that? How good is that? How do you feel now? It was worth getting a little bit nervous, wasn't it? Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nervous and cold. It yeah. was. Fantastic, Anna. Yeah. Congratulations. You're going to have the Han. best. You're going to have the best time. Um, Han, Han can't hear me, but just ask her um, what she's most looking forward to in Buenos Aires. Han, what are you most looking forward to about our trip? <laughs> Oh, I have no idea. Tacos. 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 Okay. <laughs> okay. No, seriously, they serve... There might be a Mexican restaurant there. Of course there know. will be. I knew you'd be mean about that, Fingers Uncle Hillary. <laughs> they they sell all kinds of food there, so tacos are on offer. Um, all right, you take care of yourself, Anna. Uh, we will be in touch. You will get a packet, and it will include $2,000 spending money and Air New Zealand tickets to Buenos Aires for two. Congratulations.
Thank you very much. Have a brilliant day. Oh, God, isn't that lovely? It's so lovely. What a star. And, you know, that shows with 9 and 10. That's the whole thing. A question like that for many people would be impossible, for others easy, because you learn it like a list, which is how you've got to handle it.